Okay, so you probably don't have much time and you already know why you're here. So let's get that PDF into shape. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to quickly reduce your architecture portfolio size. My name's Chris and here at AllArc, we offer an alternative perspective on all things architecture and design. If you haven't exported your portfolio yet, Use this link up here or the one in the description below. Okay, let's jump right in. We got two methods in two minutes. You should try both to see which one works best for you. We're on my desktop and we have my architecture portfolio right here in the center. If I right click it and go to properties, you can see here that it's 21.4 megabytes. Let's go ahead and get out of this selection. I'm going to open up the architecture portfolio in Adobe Acrobat, go up to file and go down to save as other and then reduced size PDF. Next, let's click OK. Select our desktop. And let's name this one architecture portfolio underscore one. Click save. Now that it's done saving, let's go to our desktop and check it out. You can see here my architecture portfolio one. If I right click it and go to properties, it's down to 19.6 megabytes. All right, now for the second method. This one's a little bit more effective if you're short on time and you have a good internet connection. Let's open up our internet browser and go to the web address that I have listed in the description below. Press enter, click select files. I'm gonna select my architecture portfolio and click open. After it's done uploading your portfolio or PDF, you have three options, low compression, medium compression, or high compression. The higher your compression rate, the lower quality it'll be, but it'll also be a smaller file size. For this example, I'm gonna go ahead and click high compression and click compress. To download your portfolio or PDF, go to the top bar here and click this down arrow. After it's done downloading, I'm gonna go to my downloads folder and as you can see, it compressed it down to 5.6 megabytes. This is significantly less than the previous compression method. If you find that you don't like the quality of this export, you can go back and choose either low compression or medium compression. The file size will be slightly larger, but the quality will be better. If you like the video, please like the video and subscribe down below if you wanna see future content. Before you go, see that video up there? That's a video that YouTube thinks you'll like from my channel. And the one at the bottom there, that's the video that shows you how to export your portfolio from InDesign. Anyways, y'all, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.